more to violence, uh, more to motion than just violence? What, more, to, more to motion than violence? Um, definitely, it's like it's not it's, it's an inherently violent act, I suppose. But there's no malicious intent involved. Obviously, you're swinging your le- arms and legs in the room full of people. Like shit's gonna happen, and it's gonna come across quite violent. But no one ever, well, they're not supposed to intend to hurt people. I don't think it's violence at all. I think it's about people getting like just having a bit of fun. It's different because like if you go to a gig, like a hip hop gig, you do a bit of dancing, like break dancing and stuff like that. Who, who says that's not violent? You get at people, but I don't personally do myself. Kind of, I, I did it when I was younger and stuff like that. But uh, well, there's two types of mosh. There's like the circle mosh pit, and then there's other mosh where everybody's doing like Bruce Lee karate kicks and shit like that, man. But uh, I don't have a problem with it at all. But I, like crowd killer, I don't understand that man. Like running into when people are just at the side of the barriers and stuff like that and getting hit. And there's like pure. If you've got a pint, somebody smash your pint. So four pound in this one, got it. Um, yeah, I, th- I think there's more to motion than just violence. Um, I think it's like an expression of your um, admiration for the bands on stage, your show of support uh, for their their music. Um, if like, especially if you, if your friends are pl- on stage playing. Um, it means you can show support to them. Um, it's a release of ag- aggression for a lot of people. Um, it's you know just getting your energy out. I mean, hardcore is quite high energy music, so you can't expect um, you know to be very little movement. Uh, people moving around uh, when a band's on stage is perfectly normal. It's just energetic movement to go with the energetic music. They don't understand that hardcore is a positive thing, even though it can be negative. If that makes sense. They don't understand that hardcore is almost like a positive way to let out your negative, your negative vibes. Oh, well, I don't see motion as a bad thing. I see it as just the way people act at these kind of shows. Like as I guess a form of dance kind of thing, really, in a way. But it's mostly just people like backing music, getting really into it, and just going off. It's all just like the way people act. It's not a positive thing. It's not a bad thing. Like I wouldn't say it's all. Sometimes yeah, it can be seen as a very bad thing, but I wouldn't say it's negative all the time. But it's like obviously you can't really say it's positive. Some people do get hurt, but it's just what you expect. It shows. That a band who has a reputation for having violent shows that could actually like harm their reputation. It really can. It really can. Um, can you give an example? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, I mean. Um makes it out to be and everyone's life has problems no one has a perfect life so if you've had a bad day or a bad week or a bad couple of years <laughs> it's a good place to go and have a good mosh it's just such a good way to let out your emotion to the music as cheesy as that sounds it's more just like a form of expression um yeah mosh is definitely supposed to be a nice form of expression it's supposed to be how the music sort of as cliche as it is, it takes away and sort of makes you feel, that's what the whole point is, you're just sort of losing control and going mental. Everyone looks fucking stupid doing it, but it's part and parcel with it. Is that why you do it? Like, just so you can let loose? That's exactly why I do it, mate. It's just, it's just fun. Like, I try my best not to watch so much the shows anymore, but it's just sometimes when bands play certain riffs or certain even lyrics and stuff just sets you off. Can't really control it. If it's heavy and I enjoy it, then I, I've got a lot of pent up emotion in me and it's a brilliant feeling getting it out at a gig.
performance point of view, do you think that that kind of act when you're playing does that inspire you to play harder? Mate, I, I love when people go mental at shows. Like being a hardcore fan, you essentially feed off the crowd. The more mental they go, the more energy you put into it, and it's sort of vice versa. Like it just sort of it lets you know they're into the music as well, which is always really cool. Especially when a lot of bands these days write certain parts of songs so people go mental. Like in the practice room, you'll talk about it. Oh, people will go mental this part. Blah blah. We'll do this sort of thing, and it works. Oh, if somebody's doing it, man. It's better. That's the best. That's like an appreciation. You know what I mean? So, like, if someone's actually like picking the music and kicking, like, shout at each other. I mean, I don't know if I kick shout at each other. Cause you kind of see like broken bodies, but it depends what band you go see. But uh, yeah, it's kind of cool to see people getting into it and stuff like that. Cause there's nothing worse than playing to a, a lot of people just go. I, I always say I can't control what people are, are gonna do. Um, if people are gonna do it, I'm on stage. I can't really stop it. Um, if it got to the point where someone got seriously hurt and someone maybe got knocked out or something like something really serious like that, I would maybe tell Frank, who's our vocalist, that uh, we should stop playing and kind of check that they're all right, or maybe not even stop playing, just be like, "Are you all right?" kind of thing. Um, yeah, um, it's. I definitely do like seeing some kind of movement. I mean, no one likes to be standing on stage with like a group of people watching them and no one's no one looks like they're enjoying it. I mean, I'd be happy if people were just at least headbanging and nodding their head or something like that. But uh, definitely, when you see people moshing, it's, it's a good feeling. Um, but as I said, if it, t it gets taken too far, obviously you feel bad because your music's caused all this damage. You know. Break away! <laughs>
I've had my teeth knocked out, I've had chip, my teeth chipped, like, I've got a bit of a squint in one eye because of them, like, this eye's a bit lazy now because of it. Shit happens, man, doesn't bother me. If someone gets hurt, they get hurt. Like, it's kind of your own fault for not knowing what to expect. You don't go to a hardcore show to bitch you more about getting hit because it's what happens. Everyone knows it's what happens. So there's no point in whining. What do you make of, like, the ultra-violent side of it? Like, the side where it does appear to an outsider that it is literally just about hurting other people around you? I think some of it's going to appear, like appear like that to outsiders, but that's because the whole thing to the outsiders is strange. The whole point in hardcore is supposed to be anti-establishment and anti sort of the norm essentially. The whole point is supposed to be a society of fuck ups who really don't have anything else and just they do appear a bit strange to everyone else and yeah of course it's gonna seem violent. Like even if you come to a normal show, like a fucking youth crew solo show where they're doing their stupid fucking funny walks across the stage and stuff. Um like that's gonna look weird to people but I mean it looks weird to me but then again if you come to like a beatdown show and all those spin kicks, of course it's gonna look violent to someone, it's a violent action but it's not intended that way. What about the kind of like dangerous aspects of it? Do you think there's like an element of people actually just trying to hurt people? Um, yeah, I, th- I think there can be people that do it for the wrong reasons um, and they kind of have a, 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 the wrong mentality. Um, I mean, it's, it's, hardcore is all meant to be a positive movement. And even within the washing, there's meant to be positive aspects. As I say, letting out aggression, letting out your energy. Obviously, letting out aggression can be taken differently by some people. Um, letting out aggression could be like a positive thing for you but obviously some people take it to a negative thing and they uh, could take that aggression out on someone else which is obviously the wrong way of doing it everyone's meant to be a kind of family everyone's meant to be friends uh, in one sort of tight community so i mean if, if you start hitting people it kind of not only shuns them away from the hardcore scene but uh, um, just creates drama and people obviously don't like that i mean there's going to be people who are more violent minded than others um, and someone's going to take it out on the wrong person at the wrong time, you know? It basically depends. Uh, certain shows at the punk, punk, punkier side of hardcore, the shows folk, mosh and it can get rowdy but it never really, no one really ever gets hurt whereas at the heavier side, more the kind of metallic side of things it can get a bit more violent but it's more in the kind of beat down hardcore scene where certain things like crowd killing that's, that expression hurts me, but certain things like that where they, they go out their way to punch people, that's just not hardcore and it's not what the show's about. It's not what going to a gig's about, it's not what the music's about, it's not what shouldn't be really what anything about life. If you're happy hitting people who don't want to be hit for no reason, you're doing life wrong. You think like the divide, because there is a divide, um, do you think that the divide is that significant that it is based on motion? Um, I think that's what it boils down to. It, it boils down to motion, but it also boils down to the mentality. Um, there'll be people who uh, feel that uh, moshing should be taken out in a certain way, and there'll be other people that think it should be taken out in a different way, you know? Some people think that it's, it's all about pylons and stage dives and, you know, bashing into folk, but then other people think you're a target, I'm going to get you, kind of thing. You know, that's, that's, not the right, that's probably not the right way of thinking about it, but there are different kinds of music, there's different kinds of styles. Um, a beatdown show, people are probably going to be more violent than a youth crew show. Um, it's, just, it's just the way it goes, but when those get mixed, that's when you start to see the divide. What about you personally? What side of the divide do you sit on? I'm in a beatdown band. I, I love heavy music, um, but I myself am not a violent person. I, I very rarely mosh or move around myself. Um, but at the same time, uh, I'm part of a tight knit group that all enjoy doing that, and I'm all really good friends with them. If I go to a beat down show and I get hit, I'm not going to complain. Um, or I can complain, but I'm not going to like take it to extremes. But at the same time, um, I'm friends with people who don't like uh, the violent side of motion, and um, I, I respect their views. They respect my views, hopefully. Um, but that's where I see the divide comes. Uh, I think it's, it's just a show of respect. Um, you, you do what you do, I do what I do. We should just respect that. You know? I think it needs to be taken into a perspective that not everyone is interested in going to a show where it's violent. People just want to stand back and watch a band and they need to res- be respected as much as those people that do want to go into a mosh pit and, and do whatever it is they want to do.